hey guys hello beautiful people welcome to my channel my name is tochi you guys are welcome so guys this video i'll be answering all your questions okay and i won't waste much time i'll just dive right into the video so guys i noticed that i got lots of questions as i announced that i'm pregnant here on youtube and i was like okay i know that there are people who still want to ask more questions so why not just you know make it open for as many people that want to ask questions so that i can just answer all the questions in a video and i posted this on my community and said okay ask me questions about anything in the uk you know pregnancy life in the uk parenthood family everything and i got some questions so i'll be answering all of them in today's video see it's going to be very interesting okay and i'm going to be as honest as possible so please stick around with me let's just get started so for the first question we have a uh, thanks for the opportunity tochi you are really doing a great job my question is how are you able to combine work and family life so perfectly i really admire you i just moved to the uk with a child and it's been difficult for me honestly mm. well the truth is that it's not really easy right i won't even come here and say oh it's easy or there's this i'm doing no I just take it one day at a time okay i understand that yes i have a family and i also have work to do i basically just find a balance and i'm very grateful that i have a supportive partner who always helps so he's always there to basically just help like when i want to film my content he's there with the kids and i mostly film my content or my videos when he's around so that he could take care of the kids though my daughter is you know she understands so she can actually just stay just tell her you want to film a video and she would excuse you but for my son <laughs> right that one doesn't really understand what's up so but there are times when they're just carried away and doing that thing and you just want to film a video but there are also times when they might just come and scatter your stuff he will want to like play with what you're doing so he really doesn't understand all that so that's why i mostly film my videos when my husband is around so that he'll just be with the kids somewhere and then i'll be here doing my thing and i try to like bulk film like when i have time to film i have my scripts ready everything i try to film two or three videos when i'm ready okay i feel like sometimes even filming one video looks like i'm wasting my time i make up everything because for me to film one video of course i have to like look good just touch up my face sit down and all that so i just want to maximize that all I have to do is just change tops. I don't even have to change tops sometimes. And I just film one, two, three videos as much as I can film at once. Or sometimes I take a break, maybe lunch break, dinner break, depending on the time I'm filming. So it just boils down to having a plan and having a supportive partner. And then I make out time for my family. Of course, I don't film videos every day. So <laughs> I always have time for my family. Family is family and work is work so i just try to balance the boat so what i'll advise you is just find out what works for you as you just moved into the uk the uk is so different from where you're coming from our home country obviously where you have a lot of help and support but here you have to basically do everything by yourself right so just find what works for you okay you'll definitely find it it might take a while but you'll find what works for you and how to go about your thing and with time you'll be fine don't worry and the next question is congratulations again to you tochi wishing you a smooth ride my question is did you plan for baby number three if you didn't what was your reaction when you found out you were pregnant okay and um, this question the answer to this question is yes and no um yes in the sense that i've always wanted three kids and no in the sense that as I, when it happened it wasn't planned okay it just happened and i'm like okay why not just do it once and for all and here we are today <laughs> does that answer your question so my reaction was like okay i didn't even have any i was like it's fine let's just do it it has come here it has come now so i was happy really i was i was really happy because i wanted it i just love children and i always wanted to have like three or four children and my husband is okay with it as well but i think we're going to stop here <laughs> for now all right the next one is keep glowing tochi we love you thank you i love you too and uh, congratulations tochi will you be planning to invite a family member to help with child care yes definitely 
my mom is here at the moment she'll be going very soon but my mother-in-law is coming so definitely guys see it's not easy i won't even come and say it's easy raising kids abroad family abroad everything then having a newborn baby as well with other kids see it's not easy so if you can get help please get help it's very important thank you for this congratulations to you and your family i would like to ask when do you think it's okay to get pregnant for someone who's coming into the uk through skilled workers so as to be eligible for benefits that may be tied to getting maternity leave you should have worked for a while I would refer you to my video on benefits that you can get um, in the UK as an immigrant, right? I think you will get clarity from that video. And maybe some other time, maybe after I've given birth to my baby, doing my maternity leave, I might make a full video again on maternity pay, maternity leave and all that. So if you plan it and you want to get pregnant, I would advise that just give yourself maybe six months after you have worked like you've been on the job for more than six months then you can take in but even if you take in before six months you might still be eligible for maternity allowance because for the baby i had here in the uk i took in almost immediately and i got a job almost immediately like i took in almost at the same time i got the job and i was still eligible for maternity allowance though i wasn't eligible for maternity pay from my employer right so it just depends on what works for your employer so but just give yourself time just work for a while for at least six months and um, before you get pregnant that is like if you have a choice if you have to plan it and everything just give yourself at least six months into the job before you take in just to be on the safe side this one is tochi you're having a baby oh i even feel like crying so excited for you babies are simply a blessing can't wait to see baby love you hope your baby girl is excited to be a big sister yes thank you faith hi tochi i know you always talk about child care my question is what different types of child care are available for working parents from their workplace not outside work if possible give an example of how a couple might use work arrangements and how it affects their earnings from my little knowledge not all companies make arrangements for child care right you might want to find out if your company actually have that arrangement there are people who have that arrangement and then you get to pay for it from your salary every month or something like they have that plan but not all companies have that arrangement so you have to find out then for child care options generally in the uk you could get a nanny you could take your child to a child minder um you could take your child to nursery um, and then you could work different shifts with your partner to be able to take care of your child because sometimes the truth is getting nannies going to a child minder and all that they are not cheap okay you might want to like work out a pattern with your spouse where somebody always has to be at home so when you're working your spouse is at home when your spouse is working you are home to take care of the child but if you have the money you can use a nanny you can use a child mind that just depends on what's available where you are and if your workplace have that arrangement for child care then fine wow congratulations tochi thank you and um, hi tochi my question is this some women say they feel some kind of resentment and hatred towards their husbands during pregnancy will you say it is the same for you or you feel okay i feel good it's not it's not the same for me i can't even relate at all um i can't i can't relate to that <laughs> i'm sorry please can you explain the eligibility for maternity allowance right so i can see that a lot of people are really interested in this video i'm going to maybe make a full video a detailed video on it to explain everything about maternity allowance with you guys so don't worry to be in a separate video because if i start now this video is going to be so long i have lots of questions to answer um but for maternity allowance in summary you just have to have worked for some time and um, to be eligible to get maternity pay or maternity allowance i knew it i've been suspecting that you look pregnant in your recent videos congrats in advance new mom thank you so this next person said congratulations there judging from the size of your bum are we expecting twins <laughs> right 
so i've gotten this comment a lot not like a lot shall like people that are close to me even me i tell myself because my bum is so big compared to my first and second pregnancies like, like this bum is really big and only to find out that <laughs> we're not having twins sorry to disappoint you <laughs> but i don't know i don't know why i don't understand why because i feel so heavy if this pregnancy is quite different from the others i feel so big i feel so heavy i feel so tired everything in one but yeah it's going on well so far so good but to answer your questions no we're not having twins the single baby that is in here and when I prayed for twins, I prayed for twins with my first and second, but now I don't think I want twins because having twins will mean having four kids and I don't think I'm ready for that. Not in this country, not in this abroad that we are like this because, haha. <laughs> eh, God, it's not going to, how are you going to carry them, all of them, like, to be going out, to be going for school runs, to be, ah, please, guys, be cool, I don't want, thank you. There are a lot of people who want twins, who want new babies. I push it to all of you please receive it in Jesus name amen hello ma will you pay the hospital bill or is it free it's free okay healthcare in the UK is actually free or partially <laughs> because people argue that oh you pay your health surcharge and all of that and um, but there are some people who are exempt from paying that so for those people it's actually free <laughs> right so yeah I'm not paying anything so far all my atenatal all my hospital appointments everything I've not paid any dime delivery. You're not going to pay anything. Like whether you're having CS, you're having vagina delivery, you're not paying a dime for it. Okay. You have to think about basically just buying baby things, like all you need for your baby in your house. That's all. But you don't have to bother your head about hospital bill. Thanks for this. How can one cope with the issue of childcare over there and still be working as a mother? This is something that everybody has to deal with, right? If you have kids. Um, is a reality but you just have to find a way to cope you have to find a way to manage you and your partner have to find a way to work around it especially if you don't want to be a stay-at-home mom because living abroad does not even encourage anybody to stay at home right there are bills to pay so just to meet up with your responsibilities the both parties have to work right you have to just arrange it with your partner that's what most people do except you have a family member or somebody who can help with child care because trust me, child care here is not cheap. <laughs> but if you can afford it, fine. You can always take your child to nursery. You can take your child to a childminder, to a nanny and all that. Right, if you can afford it. But there are people who tell you that what's the point going to a childminder or getting a nanny? Because sometimes it feels like you're giving them all the money you're making, right? So they just say there's no point. You have to just stay at home and find a way around it. So... What you have to do is like look for work from home jobs like remote jobs or hybrid jobs or maybe jobs that you can do at night while your partner works during the day you, sh you just have to find a way to work this thing out with your partner please how can a carer cope with job and two children nine and three years old in uk without their father being present with them please teach me how to be managing it ha huh. I can't teach you how to be managing it because I can't relate to that but it's not really going to be very easy for you that's the truth right you're going to have to take your children to school and then you have to go to work except you work at night and even if you work at night who's going to be sleeping with the kids at home do you get what I mean because they're still very young for you to leave only them at home and go to work so it, it, i don't know how to answer that question because this is a difficult one except you have maybe a family member or you have a family friend or someone that you know your kids can always stay with while you go to work at night or something see sis you have to like just think about it and find a way because because i must be very honest with you it's even difficult with you know the both couples having to deal with everything talk more of just one person so it's not going to be so easy for you except you have a family in the uk that can help you fine prayer go oh thank you thank you thank you congratulations oh thank you thank you very much the next person says at what age should i register my children in school i'm going to be moving to the uk very soon right so you're going to register your kids in school full time from four years right so here in the uk education is free from four years okay so if you have any child that is less than four years 
then you have to pay for it prepare to pay for nursery right maybe you're eligible to get like 15 hours for nursery if the child is three years but if you want your child to go to school for more than 15 hours a week then you have to pay for it like for my case when my daughter was in nursery um, it was just 15 hours free that she was getting every week right but we wanted her to do more than 15 hours because it was good for us like there's no point going to school to pick her up by 11 30 or by 12 o'clock in the morning because she discovered that you just drop the child in school in the morning by the time you get home <laughs> and do one or two things it's already 11 30 you're going to pick the child back right so we just wanted her to do full time so she was doing like three times a week right so that's extra time that she spends in school we had to pay for it every week if you want your child to spend more than 15 hours in school if the child is three years you have to pay for it but um, if the child is less than three you have to take responsibility for the person's school like you want to go to a pre-nursery want to put the child in a nursery or you know caretaker child minder whatever you have to pay for it and it's not free recently there's one that we had to check here for my son and a month they're saying about 800 and something pounds every month <laughs> and i'm like how much am i even making they want to collect 800 and something pounds for me every month for a two-year-old so see it's not cheap okay if but if you have kids that are more than three years then you don't have a problem once you come into the uk you just look for a good school for them call your council and you're good to go just register them in school take them to school in the morning bring them back and children from four years to six years i think are entitled to free meals in school like free lunch in school but from but from year three and above you have to pay for it if you want them to be eating school meals right so yeah just note all that it's not that difficult and you also have to bear in mind that it's always advisable to look for accommodation you know close to the school you like your children to go to especially if you're not mobile like if you don't have a car and you don't want to be trekking long hours with children going to school going you know to and from school right if you don't have a car live close to school or where you can at least get access to bus easily from your house to the school put all that into consideration right so yeah so i think we'll just take the last one that says tochi thank you for all you do we really appreciate you my question is how are you doing how are you coping with your pregnancy and how is everything over there with you hmm. okay i'm fine i'm doing great um it's not easy but we're pushing i thank god for the support system i have my mom is around my husband is here and yeah everybody's just helping as much as they can and i'm just trying to do my best i listen to my body right so when i don't feel like it I just rest you know lie down i don't do more than i can handle okay i just take it one day at a time so generally i'm doing great i'm just pushing and trying to be fine trying to make the most out of my pregnancy and just just trying to be fine so yeah i'm great thank you so much for asking I appreciate so yeah thank you guys for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it and um, i'm going to see you guys in my next one okay bye, -bye.